Tilray, ticker symbol T-L-R-Y. Are you ready for the week ahead? You really need to see this chart. It popped up just like we predicted when our video came out. No surprise there. And now we've got a full technical chart analysis right before the market opens on Monday morning. You've got to watch this, see it all the way through. And now with Sensei, here is a full chart technical analysis. Sensei, over to you. Thank you, Martin. Yes, let's look at the... Um, Tilray charts, fundamentals and analysis. Um, let's have a quick look for you guys. I'm going to have a quick look at the buy levels, the low risk levels, and also the the areas where I would be considering to sell. If you have, if you do like technical analysis and seeing where the um, the technicals are, and if you want me to do um, keep you updated with the charts, do please hit the like button. And if there's any comments, please leave them below in the video, and I will um, answer as many as I can. So yeah, so right now we're the, the the close this is the weekly candle closes was about 173 in the after hours as predicted by martin we did move up higher um just a quick analysis of the of, of the whole idea of the stock the long term of the stock this this was once upon a time after the ipo a 300 dollars stock um it popped up um, and then it came all the way down basically in pretty much a straight line over a few months all the way down to two dollars fifty and then from two dollars fifty, it pumped all the way up to sixty-seven dollars. So this is a very profitable stock if you're trading it. And then it basically came all the way back down to make all-time lows of at one dollar fifty. It then popped back up at three dollars forty, and then popped back to, uh, down to one dollar sixty-three, back up to two dollars fifty, back down to two dollars sixty. So what's what's occurred here is that if I can bring the RSI into this as well, um, and then maybe the MACD as well. Need both of them. Let's get rid of this. Sorry, let me make sure I've got this all the information. Yeah, so what we've got here is the RSI, which is sitting at pretty much a neutral area. The MACD, which is more in the bearish area but that's on the weekly time frame we now move to the daily time frame the rsi is moving back into maybe the bullish control area the macd has just ticked green so that's that's a great indicator when it when it turns green uh, last time it turned green we went from about one dollar 72 to about two dollars 50 and the time before that we ticked green we went from um one dollar two dollars seventy to about three dollars and the time before we turned green on the daily time frame we went to basically the all-time lows at 150 all the way up until about three dollars so it is good that we were turning green on the macd on the daily time frame which is indicated here the rsi is moving up above 50 is the bullish control zone and now we go into the four hour time frame and then we can see what the after hours movement was we got a very big move up to, in the after hours. Um, it took us up about 9%. Um, so what we're looking for now is, is this move going to continue to the upside? What level should I be buying and what level should I be selling? Again, I'm not giving financial advice, but what we're coming up to now here is, a is, a, um, is, is, is the bull market support band, which I use, and that is the 20 and the 21 week moving average. That is between 192 and about two dollars so that's our first point of resistance that's the first point some people might want to take profits because they bought it at 150 and there's a bit of resistance and they're happy with making um about 21 percent on their trade those are the traders they might be wanting to take profits at two dollars for people that are holding more long term they want us what you want to see is break of two dollars and then heading up to 234 and then that might be an area you want to take profits because at that point if you bought it at 150 you're making profits of about 42 percent and then some people might want to hold into 250s which is more of a high risk area to be holding and that's a profit of 57 percent if you do break two dollars fifty then what i'm looking for is the highs of september last year which is around three dollars 27 so what you've got here is our buy zones which were around 173 and 150 um, and then the first point of resistance which, which is the moving averages at two dollars the next point of resistance, uh, and you can, I'm going to give you the levels and you cho choose what you want to do at the levels. You can choose to take some profits, you can choose to take all your profits, you can choose to just keep a note of it and add to your position if we go past those levels. There's all sorts of things and it depends on your trading strategy. I'm not here to give financial advice, I'm here to give you the low risk, high risk, the, the levels of the chart. So the first one's at 
around 192 the next one's at 234 and the next one's at 254 and after that i'll be back on if you do hit the like button and i know you want to see these technical analysis videos and then we'll be looking at targets of three dollars and and beyond um, and i want to keep up to date with these charts so i can give you the best low risk and high risk areas of the stock and, and what i mean by that is for example if you're trading the stock you might have your um, you might have entered at 250 have your stop loss at around let's say you entered at 260 you have your stop loss at around 250 and then you're looking to to x out the positions in a laddering in the laddering way what i mean by that many of my trades i don't take my profits all at once i i go and take depending on how much i'm confident in the trade i'll take maybe 20 percent out at the first target another 20 percent out at the next target another 20 percent out at the next target and then I'll reassess when it comes to that point, and that's when I want to come back to make a video if, if things change or if we push up to 250, and then I'll take the rest of my profits or another 20% at $3.40, and I'll always be holding at least 30% of my initial or 20% of my initial thing in case Tilray it goes up to $5 or $10 or $20. But yeah, this is how I'd ladder in and out of the stock, um, and that's what I'll be looking for. But yeah, that's my analysis. Um, hopefully I'll do another one soon. Um, but I'll pass it back to you now, Martin. Thank you, Sensei. Great work as always. I hope everyone does well with their trades and investments with Tilray this week. It's going to be a big week. Until then, as always, click above my head for all the links down below in the description and I'll put more information over here. Make sure you check all those links out. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.